Welcome to Power Learning, where we simplify electrical engineering and power systems and turn complex concepts into crystal clear knowledge. If you love learning with real world examples and no boring lectures, you're in the right place. All right, quick question. What if your generator could regulate itself without any help from the outside? Sounds impressive. Let me show you how the shunt excitation system does exactly that. And by the end of this video, you'll know when it's a smart move and when it might cost you big. So here's the deal. In the shunt system, the AVR, automatic voltage regulator, takes both power and voltage reference from the alternator's own output terminals. No external power, no separate reference. It's like the alternator is looking in the mirror and adjusting itself. That's why shunt is great for standard applications. Basic, stable loads with no surprises. But what happens when things get serious? Let's say you're starting a big motor or there's a short circuit. That's where shunt starts to struggle. It can't handle those intense current demands. And if you push it, system failure is just around the corner. So what's the solution? For heavy duty situations, we use a rep or PMG excitation systems. These are designed to provide strong, independent excitation. Perfect for motor starts and short circuit conditions. But wait, can shunt still be upgraded? Absolutely. For larger installations, you can add a booster system. By installing current transformers in the terminal box, you increase the excitation voltage and improve fault handling. Sound good, right? Well, it comes at a cost. Transformers aren't cheap, and the extra installation adds complexity. So it's not always the best fit for every setup. So here's the bottom line. Shunt is simple, reliable, and budget-friendly. Perfect for everyday generators and stable environments. But for critical operations, heavy loads, or motor starts, it's smarter to go with. Mm -hmm.